It's not across party levels. It's for the people of Zambia to be free. We fought for freedom. But if it is the freedom we fought for, I would have not gone to prison in 1960. Thank you very much. President Sata, in winding up this program, some people say you have no diplomacy. You, you, you like to just hit the nail on the head and, you know, that way you, you, you scare off people or, you know, you, you just put them off. What is your reaction to that? I don't scare Zambians. I speak for the Zambians. It, Zambia is for the Zambians to enjoy, not for foreigners. So what's the diplomacy to say Chinese have invaded the Zambia? What's the diplomacy to say New Deal Indians have taken Kamwara and Town Centre? Is there any need to be diplomacy? Is there any two language, two ways in which you can say it? Those shops are supposed to go to Zambians. They give God has stopped distributing land. God has stopped creating countries. And we must look after our own country, Zambia, which God gave to us. We didn't buy, he gave it to us. And if God gave it to us, why should one child be sleeping in a furrow? Go to that Manda Hill Junction. Children are sleeping under. Now, what, when the rains have come, is that, is that the way where you say that he, is that, is that type of a country you, you would like to live in? Others are going in Porsche cars, Porsche cars which they haven't paid with their own money, Porsche cars which they have used taxpayers' money. Let's give equality to Zambians. We are not going to say every Zambian is going to be a billionaire, but to give them what they are worth. That's why I build Kajema houses. That's why I build Mezaf. That's why I improved the Chawama and the World Bank. That's why I improved the Kalingalinga, Kaunda Square Stage 1 and 2. That's why I build bank houses. And when I build bank houses, I knew I was not going to be governor forever. I sold to the occupants of bank houses. If I would have not sold them those houses, I think they would have been kicked out of those houses. Thank you very much. If you die today, how would you like the Zambian people to remember? Zambians to remember me that I spoke for the people of Zambia. I have a talent. 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 I have You are the worst cowards. All educated people. You can't speak out because you are scared of going to prison. All educated people are the worst cowards. Well, that's his opinion, which must be respected. President Sata, I would like to thank you so much for coming on to the program, and I wish you all the very best in your endeavors, and uh, I wish your party as well all the best. Thank you. And it has been beautiful to see that Michael still has a lot of power over us and is affecting our life. And... Um, it's a life of unity, love, and forgiveness, and reconciliation. And we have shown that we can be one. Uh, I was very happy to see uh, people from different political parties here present. And our brother, uh, Shimbakam Bwili, was here. Um, a lot of other people. Uh, this is what it should be. The Ten Commandments remind us to love one another. And now, as we come to the end of the ceremony, let us leave that which we remember. Loving God through loving our neighbor. And so we pray together, our Father, who art in heaven, the Lord be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him. May his soul and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God.